Hello and welcome to the Astro Vegan Cafe. Today we're in the kitchen and we're going to make banana ice cream. I don't know if you have ever made it before, but if you haven't, you should. It's delicious and it's like the whippiest soft serve ever. So I'll show you the ingredients. This video will be in real time, so from beginning to end is how long it takes to make banana ice cream. And it's pretty quick, about eight to 10 minutes. So first, um, here are some bananas I froze um, last night. It's five bananas broken into chunks. There's a small handful of mulberries, and these are optional. There are three small dates. Sometimes I use two larger dates. Vanilla extract, which is optional, and carob or cocoa powder, whichever one you prefer. It works great with both, and I use both pretty much interchangeably. So the first thing you want to do is you need a, a, a food processor for this. Um, if I use five or more bananas, I use the big bin. If I use three or less bananas, I use the four cup. So if you only have a smaller food processor, you can still make it with the four cup. I just use three bananas and um, your S-Blade. So pour your bananas into your food processor. And we're going to run the food processor just long enough to break the bananas up. And then we're going to add our other ingredients, and I'll post these ingredients below also. So I'm putting in just a small handful of mulberries. They give it like a toffee crunch. They're optional, but they give it real nice, it's just like little toffee pieces in there. I'm taking the pits out of the dates and putting the dates in. I've left the dates out for a couple of hours so that they're nice and soft. And these will emulsify, but they'll leave kind of micro pieces that are kind of really caramely in there. So they're really good. So three smaller dates or two big dates, and you can vary, you know, depending upon your preferences. And the vanilla, if I can open it, uh, let me see, huh. pausing one second here, see if I can get the vanilla open. When in doubt, take out the heavy equipment. There we go. Your banana ice cream might not take so long if you're able to open your vanilla more quickly. And I pour in about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, just kind of randomly. And then for the carob or cocoa powder, I like a lot because I like it really flavorful. And so I put in like three or four super heapers. You can see that, I hand that in front of it. So three, and then I'll make my fourth one kind of a little smaller. Okay, and then I'm going to turn on the food processor. You usually have to push it down with the blades a couple of times. So we'll run it for a minute and then check it out. And you can see there how it kind of stopped moving suddenly. That's when you know to just press it down in there. Just press it down into the blades. Only takes a second, maybe scrape a little off the side. There's stuff to scrape. And press it down. And then turn it on again. And you can, you can kind of hear like nothing's happening. Press it down in there. This is actually a yummy place to taste it. It's kind of like frozen cookie dough, but I'm not going to, nah. But it does taste good at this point. So if you're feeling hungry, feel free. I'm going to push it down one more time and this should be the last time it needs to be pushed down because you can start to see it getting just a little bit creamy around the edges. I'm going to even it all out.
you might be able to see the color starting to lighten around the sides. And so that's where you can tell it's starting to get creamy. And I think it should be done, I'm thinking in about 30 seconds. Okay, and we're going to test it now. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so you see how creamy that is? See how whipped up that is? Really, really, really nice. You know what? I'm just going to let it go for 10 more seconds. That's really nice, but it needs about 10 seconds. And then I promise you, it's done. Well, I'm going to push it down since I'm going to let it go. That's, that's really just right on top of being done, though. Now, there we go. So there you can see it's a nice light color be, as before it was dark and now you see it's like super, super creamy. So we're going to dish it up and give it a test. Scrape it off the blades. You can put other things in here too, you know, if you like you know, whatever kind of fixings you like on your ice cream, if you eat nuts and things. But I think what you'll find is that um, it does not need anything. It is so good as it is. I put berries in it before, frozen berries, but I kind of found that even though they're, they're good, they change the texture a little bit and give it a little bit more of an icy texture. So it's still delicious with berries, but I find I like it better without them. All right, so let's give it a try. See if it is as delicious as usual. And it is, as delicious as always. It always works. It's delicious, it's fabulous. Definitely try it if you do and you like it. Please post in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, bye.